Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm going to show this 2010 Nissan Cube. It's got uh, 80, uh, it's approaching 84,000 kilometers, which is about 53,000 miles. Let's take a look around. We'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information that's going to answer a lot of your questions in the video. Okay? I get emails all the time about what our financing is, what our JCI is, what our warranty is. I cover all that and more in my video. So please bear with me until the end. We'll get through this together. And then obviously, if, uh, if you have other questions, please go ahead and contact me. This Nissan Cube is a five passenger vehicle in the uh, 500 series category, so the uh, mid-size category. Road tax per year is gonna be uh, 7,500 yen, which is about $180 right now with the current exchange rate. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's about 60, $68 uh, with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. But if you don't wanna wait through any lines, stop by John's used cars after April 1st, and we'll go ahead and assist you with that. You do have two options to pay for this. The first one is US dollars cash outright, or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can do that. Uh, before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. But a more important feature and benefit that is, is going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Now, this one is just coming in, so it's going to be a little dirty. Just trying to get as many vehicles on the website as possible. So it does have the key fob uh, and a push start. So foot on the brake, push this one time. And there you go. All right. Oops. So turn this one off. Sorry, Troy. All right. 83,538 on odometer. Uh, showed a couple of warning lights. Now let me lower this fan just in case you get in that noise. The one to the bottom right, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Then the one in the middle there is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. We get that a lot, but um, it is a kick tight. So when you disengage, it goes away, kick it again, it comes right back on. Other than that, oh, it does have an, uh, an eco mode. Other than that, just a very straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you do have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. You have your, um, I'm sorry, your air conditioning controls. You got a little uh, hook here for some groceries, okay? And then a little power outlet. And then a little uh, net here for some storage. I'm not sure what you'd, what you'd put there. Uh, continuing off to the left, you have a deep pocket uh, glove box. A little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel, okay? That is your passenger space over there. Red row flare is, uh, has disappeared, okay? And then this is my space over here. Oh, hold on, let me... All right, there you go. Now it's all the way down. All right, hopefully you get that. And I can't see, but um, I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I, I said this uh, newer body style cube does have more uh, space uh, for the driver, so I'm comfortable where I am, or I can slide it up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. Uh, let's go eye level. Yeah, I can actually see a little bit more on this. Maybe my seat is... Um... Yeah, I can still see a little bit of the hood, okay? Go all the way back. Now, as I mentioned, this is uh, just coming in, so it has not been detailed yet. So I normally show you the auction sheet right now, showing that it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan, okay? Um, but because it hasn't been detailed, I keep those inside the office. When they are detailed, I just put it up here on the uh, driver's side sun visor. So be on the lookout for that if you want to look at it. Um, this does have an armrest slash console uh, st for some storage. And then I'm not sure what that is. It's, it is not a cup holder. Okay, but you do have a cup holder up here and down here, okay? And a little bit of storage as well. All right, so let's go to the uh, back seat here. But first, let's show you just uh, three more things. Uh, you do have your uh, mirror controls here. And please don't forget on the bottom of the dash, you have the two levers here. This one on the right side is your gas cover release. Please don't forget that. We get calls all the time and asking where it is. And then your hood release, which I'm going to do. So we'll look at it later. And then this is just uh, push that and that'll turn it off. It's actually uh, pretty clean for a dirty car. Not bad at all. All right. With the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about a, about an inch, inch and a half away. Eh, about an inch away from the back of the seat on my knees. No storage on the back of the driver's seat, but uh, you do have a pocket storage on the passenger seat. Just be careful with this. It doesn't open up a whole lot. Uh, these will tend to rip if you try to overload it, okay? Um, you do have a cup holder on each door panel. This one does have an armrest as well with two more cup holders. Okay, so let's go to the back here. All right, there's your space. 
Now this seat used to have a, uh, the old body style had a lever right there that you could slide this back and forth. Now the lever is in the front, um, in the middle. Okay, so you can slide this forward if you need extra space for the rear. So let's uh, take a look at the engine compartment, then we'll wrap this video up. There you go, typical Nissan engine. And this will be uh, cleaned during the detailing process. So there you have it, a 2010. Hey, I forgot to show you. There's a, sorry, there's an ETC reader in here. Electronic toll collector. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Was it in here? All right, I'm missing it. Oh, there it is. That right there is the electronic toll collector. So it works like easy pass in the States if you can get a card for it. And that's for the expressway here. Okay. No, I forgot something. All right, so 2010 Nissan Cube, just under uh, approaching uh, 84,000 kilometers, which you get about 50 to 53,000 miles. Military price goes down to 4,500. With an additional military discount, we'll get this down to 4,300, which will include the two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, the 2021 road tax, and the 10% sales tax already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. That's whether you go on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. Uh, as always, we encourage you to shop around, go out to the dealers, see what they have, and then stop by John Juice Cars. Let us show, uh, show you what we have and what our program is all about. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. So uh, stop by, by, we'll show you why. If you have any questions while you're out and about, go ahead and contact us. Information is free. We're always willing to assist you regardless if you're uh, buying a car from us or not. Uh, don't forget two ways to pay for it. Uh, U.S. dollars cash outright or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.